Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Fabian, Going to the Dogs, and this is a three-hour German drama romance that focuses on Dr. Jacob Fabian in 1930s Berlin, so there's a lot of, like, rising of the Nazis, kind of, and Nazis taking over kind of elements laying the groundwork to the setting here, but who works by day in advertising for a cigarette company and by night, wandering the streets of the city, falls in love with this actress and their lives kind of go in opposite directions and he has to process all the things he's going through. This is from director Dominic Graff, who honestly, who also wrote the film, makes a really bold and inspired kind of film here. The period look to this film all the elements in terms of like costume design and production design are on point. And the way that he shoots the film with the cinematography, there's a graininess, there's a classicness to it. Um, Hanno Lentz, who is the cinematographer, they're able to capture this very grainy but also engaging look to the film that makes it feel like it's shot on old film, but also feeling on a level of like a bit like a documentary a voyeuristic approach as we feel like we're here because there's some very intimate and very very sexual elements of this film and there's a lot of nudity in this like I'm sitting here like in the US this is unrated there's a lot of stuff in this so just to warn you like this takes you to some places from like sexual elements and stuff like that but there's just an engrossing and a style and a boldness to this story. From the opening jump, from going into this like terminal, this train terminal, terminal, and how the camera moves and how we're navigating this, and like the music and the cinematography all combining to create this very specific kind of environment and atmosphere to this film. And the amazing use of lighting, there's some scenes where, like, there's only what's lit by, like, lamplight, and it brings such a great fixation while all this, like, darkness is around everything else. And there's just an inspiredness to this film, and just with that massive runtime, it can be a bit overbearing. There's definitely moments of being scattered and uneven along the way, where... I did struggle to like really focus on this because it is a bit unrelenting in all the different kinds of things that this film is trying to have you experience and you know between these two main characters uh, and exactly where this film is going and what this story is really about but the themes this tragic story of where life can take you all the way up until the end with some very tragic elements, this film is engrossing and emotional. You have these strong performances. You have Jacob Fabian played by uh, Tom Schilling, who gives a fantastic performance. It's charismatic. We're attached. We're there with Jacob Fabian along this ride, which is quite the epic ride. And there's a physicality to the performance because he has to sell those physical elements in those scenes that we discussed earlier, but also the emotional elements as he's connecting with Cornelia, played by Saskia Rosendahl, and who also gives a fantastic performance. We feel this connection. We feel this relationship. And along the way, there's other elements. There's other people that make big impacts in Fabian's life, like the malls, especially Irene Mall, played by Merritt Becker, and there's a connection that these two characters have, and throughout this film, there's just fantastic performances that help carry the, the weight of this giant, bold, and just film that's going for it. There's nothing about this film that feels like studio kind of like this is tropey and this is what you're going to get. No, this is bold. This is different. This is unique. It challenges you in human interactions. And yes, it has romance elements. It has drama. We we see those kinds of things in films all the time, but I feel like not quite like this. This takes you to a different level. It takes you to places that you might not be 
ready for, and it's an emotional ride over the course of this whole entire film. There are taboo elements, there's heavy things. This is on movie. That's like says a lot. Like this is an art house film that's three hours of just bold and inspired filmmaking and acting and storytelling and it pushes some really pushes some very specific buttons and might be a thing that might be too much for many viewers but if you're ready to lose yourself in this experience this is going to have you grab the whole entire way and you're going to be happy that you took this experience but those are my thoughts on Fabian going to the dogs. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.